sound beautiful. Thanks. We should totally play this. Yeah, we could play this. What are the chords? Yeah, so um, what I'm playing is E major to C major 7 to D and then back to C major 7. You guys want to try it? Let's try it. All right, let's try it. So one, two, three, four. Something sounds funny. I know my bass is in tune. Hey, dude, I'm using a capo. So if you're a bass player and you see a guitarist using a capo, don't freak out. Just be ready to maybe make some adjustments. If they put the capo on the third fret, you're going to have to transpose up three notes. If they put the capo on the first fret, you're going to only have to transpose up one note. So the chords were E major, C major 7, D major, and back to C major 7. However, they were played with a capo on the second fret. Other parts will have to get transposed. That means even though your shapes are still E major, C major 7, D major, and back to C major 7, with the bass player, maybe a keyboard player, or another guitarist without a capo, what they need to play are really F major, D major 7, E, and back to Z major 7. Does that make sense? Let's discuss that from a bass player's perspective. So what I heard was E to C to D back to C. But the capo was placed on the second fret. That means I need to shift my notes up two notes. So what I really needed to be playing was F sharp to D to E back to D. Okay, now that we sorted that out, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Can we try it without a capo? Yeah. Let's try it without a capo. One, two, three, four. 